Anon, can you get more weights? Anagron, Doc said, pace yourself. No can do, ma'am. You need to take this slow. You're still recovering. Take it easy. Angron stops his reps and places the bar back on the rack. No, I'm not spotting. Don't be silly. Legos had that in hand. <laughs> Angron is still a beast even when his body is wrecked. Wrecked. <laughs> he could only spend an hour and a half out of his chair and he spent it working out like a madman. The medical staff placed strict limits to stick to. But I expect that Angron is working out on his own as well. But I, <laughs> but I ain't no snitch. And he seems to be being careful. Ugh, let's go to the range. Might as well keep my aim sharp. That sounds cool. I give him the thumbs up and throw him a blanket sized towel. Sounds good, champ. <laughs> I nod to a sunny dog who checks his vox. It is open, my lord. Great. I clap my hands together. I have finally figured out how to hold my bolt pistol correctly. It was fun watching targets explode. I also need to practice with my digiring. Angron straps himself into his chair and we head off. We came to an unfortunately common sight now. An army unit is using the range we reserved and of course it's a McDonald's cousin, a CO. This is the fifth time this month. Fuck you McDonald's, <laughs> fuck you. I used to be mad but watching them try and bullshit a Primark is funny as hell. This time Angron doesn't even yell at the poor Phil, just glares him down into leaving. What are they even thinking? Angron and I take turns firing at targets. A squad at the next range to our left heckled us and challenged us to a shit off till they actually saw our grip. A random chuckle fuck, four solar ox vets, a custodes and a chair bound Primark. They just shut up and went back to their side. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that being the case. Angron is actually sad about it. He is competitive as heck. I step back and just let him cut loose. He downs every target as soon as they appear. I just clean my boat pistol and wait for him to get his fill. Later we meet up with the colonel to work on our war game idea. I can't believe he's actually making 40k the tabletop in 40k. In 40k. It's pretty cool, be honest with you, I'll give him credit. Meta as fuck. Yes. <laughs> it is a Kriegspiel type idea. Angron and I have been working on it whilst he isn't allowed to train and has really taken to it. I never actually played it in my old life but I think we are getting somewhere. Raza is totally on board. He has been having his officer play test it. It takes forever to play but they seem to love it. Angron worked out a better dice system to speed up combat. It really helps. Raza wants to time each turn. We added different times to play testing, not including time to move the units between turns. Malkador walking in on us one day and was interested in the idea. He wants to be kept posted on progress. Cool, maybe this will help or at least keep soldiers entertained during long trips. Note to self, don't play cards with Angron. Empaths are bullshit. <laughs> I can't wear my left boot for the rest of the night. Big E buzzed me for a meeting. I of course hurried over to our normal spot. I have found the flaw with the second legion's gene seed. The containment has been purged and around two thirds of the stock has been saved. Damn, that's great news! What was the issue? The Emperor glares to the side. A cultist managed to recruit a Gene Smith. Your knowledge made us watch closer. He looks at me with an intense look. You have done the Imperium immense service. I feel a bit overwhelmed and nod back at him. I don't even know what to say. Honestly, at this point, he's completely changed the timeline. The timeline is completely different. Yeah. Like, there's, not, like, there's no going back at this point. Yeah. But we interested to see. I'm really looking forward to it. Big E has decided to grant me a boon at court in a week. I have to decide beforehand and actually run it by Malkador first. I have no idea what they ask for. What does one even ask of the Emperor? He already provides me with everything I have. I could ask for a planet, but he needs me by for my lore knowledge. Maybe a warrant for after the crusade. I can't bomb off the Emperor forever, can I? What would I even do after the Emperor no longer needs me? I was cleaning my bolt and Laz pistols in my suite. Lazitz was here, running ideas for a game by me, pacing while doing so. Angron was spending time with the Emperor. Something on your mind, Anon? Razit asks, clearly seeing me not really feeling like working on the game today. The Emperor offered me a boon. I'm utterly lost at what to do. He freezes. Razit and the other sunny dogs just stare at me. What? What? A boon? Razit seems bewildered by this. What did you do for such an honour? He asks on the edge of his breath. 
I don't think I can tell you right now. The Emperor will bring it up at the court soon. I need an answer before then. Our master doesn't just grant boons on a whim. This will cause even more attention to come your way. The noble houses already have no idea how to view you. This is only adding fuel to the fire. I completely forgot they think he's a wee. Copper? <laughs> yeah. No, more than a just copper. He's the he's, yeah, Emperor's fucking dead boy. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot that. Razit has a thousand yard stare going on right now. Should I decline? No! He yelled at me. That will only make things beyond worse. He runs his hand through his short grey hair. Maybe ask for a title or he stops dead in his tracks. Forget it. I forgot who I was speaking to, you know. Razit turns back to me and gives me a short bow. Just be yourself and ask for what you will. What the hell was that? Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is brought to you by Neckbeardia's 3D printed models. Go ahead and check out the eBay store down below. We have tons and tons of really cool looking models. We've got it all from orcs, dwarves, the lizards and fish people. And yes, most of the sets you can get some big bitty bitches in with them. <laughs> and honestly, they're our biggest sellers. Yeah, by far. Yeah. All the models are printed and processed by us and it is by far the best way to help us out to do what we do. So go ahead and check them out below and just just look at this lizard lady with titties. She got big titties. <laughs> look at the titties! <laughs> it's weird being on the other side of court now. I walk down the giant hall overflowing with nobles and support staff. I've been here plenty of times now, but at the big E's left while holding a big ass gold cup. I have a full honour guard as I walk towards the Emperor and Malkador. Twenty sunny dogs on each side of me, fully kitted out. Raza and his officers are in dress uniform and follow just behind me. I try my best to remain calm. Thankfully my training back home covered keeping a straight face. Legos kinda just appeared in front of me a third of the way to the Emperor's raised platform. This is the part things get weird. We finish our approach and my grip kneels to the Emperor. I just lower my head towards the Emperor. I can hear the gasps. I fear the nobles stare at me. I have just committed a huge breach of etiquette. However, I fully trust Malkador and he told me not to kneel. I assume he has a plan. Whatever, he is far smarter than me. Big E doesn't miss a beat and gestures for me to approach. Another oddity. Nobody is ever asked to walk up the platform. Anon, you have done the Imperium as a whole and my household enormous service. Two of my sons have been returned to me. One's life owed to that. That alone should see you rewarded. However, you also prevented sabotage of the Second Legion of Stardust, preventing untold damage to said Legion, but preventing the loss of progress from said Legion as well. I would offer you a boon for your service. If it's within my power, you shall have it. I just nod, and I have talked this through with Malkador, Worked through things the Big E won't accept. No warrant, as cool as that would be. The Emperor needed me close by. No Luther tier augmentation. I would be useless for a long ass time. He needed my lore. Nothing silly like a harm. That would just be insulting. I couldn't think of anything I wanted that the Big E would actually grant me. That he hadn't already provided me. So I went with spite. I would like my homeworld renamed Anon's World. That would piss off the nobles back home. My father would be livid at the disrespect. That would be all funnier. Cause fuck him for disowning me. The big E just laughs. That is a good one. It's on me. Would you like anything else? I just answer on the spot. Can I get better armor? The carapace is nice, but I would feel safer with higher tier armor. Done. I shall craft you a fine set of power armor. Holy shit, actual power armor? I was only expecting the solar ox full body armor. This is amazing, I'm like a kid at Christmas. He grants me leave. Malkador has face pumped. <laughs> I walk out with a skip in my step. I'm getting power armor. Razit, Angron and I are still working on our war game. Angron is doing a lot better. He no longer needs his chair and gets around with a cane. At this rate, he should be able to start his trials in a year or so. It has been two months since I asked for my bin. Ems is still working on my armour. Gulliman is set to finish his trials and start his proper lessons under the Emperor. I suspect the plan is to then send G-Man to fight alongside Russ to get the experience. 
Ross has officially requested I join him as an advisor. Malkador says I would leave before G-Man if the Emperor accepts Ross's request. I'm nervous about actually going to the front of the crusade. I know I would be insanely protected, but still. In other news, Horus sent me another letter. <laughs> he was approached by Eldrad. He wants to talk to me. That has me worried. What has the Farseer seen of me, or have I just thrown his visions into whack? If I do go see Eldrad, I will offer him the soul stones. Solomon sent me as a sort of peace offering. I still don't know what happened with that, other than they offended the second Primarch. And we are a print. Angron Razitz and I have our name on the manuals, and I even did a signed copy for a rogue trader at the Minor Feast. Angron wasn't interested in signing his book. Mal joins us for the first official game tournament. I got my teeth kicked in by Malkador in the first round. Razit managed to give Angron a fight, but it ended bitterly as Razit refused to yield till he was kicked fully off the board. Mal won, but it was close. Angron yielded after seeing he was caught. It was fun. The game will be issued to army ships over time. Hope the trips like it. The Emperor decided to grant Lehman Ross his request for my aid. I leave once my armour is finished. I am honestly hyped. I walk with Mal down a dark hall deep in the palace. Thanks for helping me ID this artifact and on. It has weighed on me for some time. No problem, I'm here to help. It feels weird to travel without the Sunny Dogs now. They didn't have Mal's clearance on whatever it was he wanted to show me. We travelled pretty far down, past a bunch of relics. I'm sure I saw a Mars rover. Do the tech priests know he has that? Above my pay grade. Right this way, Mal gestured towards a sealed room. Wear those gloves on the side. The relic is fragile. Will do. We enter an airlock, get scanned by something, then we're in. Malkador walks over to a desk in the middle of the room. The room is really low light. Is it a book? It has seen better days, but it seems well maintained for how old it might be. Mal hands me a lens that I can see in the dark, and I inspect the book. I'm pretty sure this is Moby Dick, but it is either in Spanish or Portuguese, which I can't read. Mal was happy to know I knew the book, but was bummed that I can't actually read it for him. I was hoping it was a history text, but this is still a great relic. I will see about having it translated, now that we know that it isn't dangerous. Glad to have helped out. This is a classic. We left to head back up. Angron is going to undergo his next stage of operations. I won't see the guy for a while. We have become good friends, spending almost every day together. It would be weird not seeing him. Before he went back to the med bay, we exchanged gifts. I made a ring from silver. Just silver wire I fused together and pressed my cupbearer logo in. He gave me a badass looking chain to wrap around one of my arms. It was for my power armour. He asked me to only wear it if I was going into combat. It totally blew my ring out of the water. Each link was hand forged. I was touched. We said our farewells and he was off. Razat had one of his officers run me through training courses. They were like the one Roxy team put me through, but worse. And I would get hit by a stun button if I slowed down. Why did I agree to this? Oh right, I'm going to join Ross and his wolves in the crusade. I crossed the finish for the course for the whatever time today. And with that, you finally cross into making the minimum for solar standards, the officer yells at me. I drop to my knees in victory. I'm too tired to raise my arms. A sunny dog tripper hands me some water, which I down like a madman. My everything hurts. A lot. I really wish Big E would give me those augments. I see Razitz walking up to me. He throws me a tile. Glad to see you actually passed the minimum. Barely. But you still made it. He nods his head. I worked my ass off on the way to Terra. Kept up my reps between lessons. And your men put me through hell. How did I just barely pass? It took me three months to reach this point. I thought I was in decent shape after reaching Terra. Razit just laughs. The Solar Auxiliary are the best mortal soldiers in the Imperium. They have high standards. If one of my boys got your time, I would have flogged them. For you though, I feel proud. He places his hands on my shoulder. I drop like a rock. Sorry, I didn't realise how bad you actually are. Someone drag him back. I was bed restricted for two days. <laughs> Thankfully, Mal has a portable blackboard, so it wasn't lost time. Stop. I stop running the course as the Emperor walks into the training field. Well, 
It's in a dome, so into I guess. Everyone drops everything. Anon, stop this. You have been pushing yourself too far. But I have to be ready. You have collapsed twice today, Legos told himself. Legos, you snitch. He is charged with protecting you. He is doing his duty. I'm sick of being weak. You are only human. You need to pace yourself. If you won't, I will for you. And that is how I was placed under house arrest until my armour was finished. I wasn't even allowed to do push-ups in my room. My guards never left me alone, even stood outside my shower and bed. At least Ma was still holding his lessons. Turns out I may have indeed gone too far. Ems had a doc check me out to show me why he cut me off. Doc said if I had pushed much farther, I would have caused my muscles to burn out or something. Razitz was reprimanded for allowing me to go so far. It was light, a small fee, a mark on record, and a talking to by Malkador. I felt like shit. This might hurt Razitz, and it might prevent him from advancing from this. Razit was less stressed by this than I was. I don't intend to leave my unit. Calm down and on. I have no intention of being a pen pusher. That is something, but I still feel like shit. I think Emps is trying to teach me a lesson on properly controlling myself or something. I do need a way to repay Rassets, though. He got punished for my fuck-up. It makes my blood boil. He has told me he would like to fight when we link up with Ross. I will talk to the Wolf King about Razitz and his men being allowed to cut loose. I watched the forces march. I was on some terrace, sipping a glass of some fruit whose name I didn't know. Millions of army troops paraded into massive ships that ferry them to the true warp-capable ships. They had been doing this for days. Another wave of soldiers, supplies and ships to be sent to forces reconquering a galaxy. I would be joining them. The fleet would divide along the way, of course, but my grip was to head to a mustering point for the Space Wolves. A random system called CARF 188B. There was a series of space stations around a gas giant where the army and legion tended to their ships, resupplied and redeployed. I would be one of the last aboard, and I would do so in my new armour. Big E wanted to make a show of it. Those that don't know me seem to think I'm a big deal. So Emps and Mal have decided to play up to it for propaganda, I guessed. I am to march with Legos and the Sunny Dogs, wave at the cameras and try not to look stupid. Thankfully, I don't have to give a speech. It's going to be weird not having Mal and Emps around. So boys, I just want to ask, can any of you guys, any artists out there, I would really love some fan art of this. Maybe Anon in 40k in his power armour, I think it would be really cool. Yeah. I would think it would be really cool. So if any of you guys are like, you know, half decent at it, yeah. post it on into the also, subreddit. Also, what do you guys think Imps is actually going to do whenever he has no use for him anymore? I think he's going to kill him, but he did make him a perpetual, so he's an, essentially immortal. Yeah. However, the Emperor can give that can to he, someone. Can he just buy <laughs> Can he give it and take it away? <laughs> like, you know, like he did it with the with Thunder Warriors. So the idea of him maybe after the Good Crusade because he won't have any new information and he can only be used by chaos. Yeah. So to me, I think there's a high chance that I think he will die. But like, I want you guys to tell us your like theories of what's going to happen next. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I'm really interested. I don't know. This whole series is kind of like the McDonald's of 40k. You know, it's bad for you, but you can't help can't, it. You can't stop it. You just can't help but enjoy it. I know. <laughs> but like, I hope you guys enjoy this one. We're going to be putting out a new part a lot sooner than what we did before. Yeah. We kind of left. We kind of trailed on it for a wee bit, but we'll be putting out a new part next week so don't worry so don't worry We're t- we really are going to keep it to one one a week so yeah. keep your notifications turned on all that jazz and we'll see you next time bye